Hello Melody Brody fan, good to see you. Hari Jumat tanggal 9 Februari 2023 ini Rosi di K Restaurant bareng dengan Miss Karen. <laughs> Miss Karen ini akan membacakan buku, can I read the book uh, about Rhode Island? Hi, my name is Karen. I was born and raised in Woonsocket. I left in 1978 to join the military and I was gone for 38 years and decided to move back home. So today I'm going to read a book about Rhode Island. It is extremely interesting and really, really a cute book. Are we ready? Okay, the title of the book is Postmark, The North Pole Postman Visits Rhode Island. Every year, Santa receives letters and wish lists from boys and girls all over the world, but for some reason, he hasn't seen many letters from Rhode Island arriving by mail this year. Santa inquires with Postmark, the elf who works in his mailroom, about this mystery. Postmark believes it's because Rhode Island is a very small, and there wouldn't be too many letters coming from such a small place. Ho, 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 postmark, Santa says. Yes, Rhode Island may be the smallest of the 50 United States, but there are many fun things to see and do there throughout the whole year. Santa deploys his mailroom elf to Little Rhodey, where he collects letters from kids across the state and returns them to the North Pole. Santa instructs postmark to start in one socket, to the north and work his way south until he reaches westerly. During his farewell, Santa asks Postmark to bring back some of Rhode Island's famous clam cakes and chowder. Along the way, Postmark meets kids in cities and towns throughout Rhode Island who enthusiastically share fun facts about the Newport Mansions, Slater Mill, McCoy Stadium, Block Island, Roger Williams Park Zoo, Watch Hill Carousel, Arcadia Wildlife Management Area, Waterfire, Bristol Parade, and many other wonderful gems across the ocean state. Postmark, only a few letters and wish lists have arrived by mail from Rhode Island kids this year, and I need to get their toys ready for Christmas. Are there any more letters in the mail room? Postmark is the elf who works in Santa's mailroom and helps Santa go through all his letters. No, Santa, I haven't seen any, says Postmark. Rhode Island is a really small state. I don't imagine there is much to do there, and not many letters would come from such a small place. Ho, 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 Postmark. Yes, it may be the smallest of the 50 United States, but there are many fun things to see and do throughout Rhode Island all year long, says Santa. Can you please go to Rhode Island for me and collect letters from the children? I know they would enjoy seeing one of my elves and teaching you about the exciting places all over their state. Start in one socket to the north and work your way south until you reach Westerly. Then bring all the letters back to the North Pole so I can get their toys ready in time for Christmas. Rhode Island is famous for having delicious clam cakes and chowder. Can you please bring some back for me? Ho, ho, ho. Postmark lands at Theodore Francis Green Airport in, War in Warwick, Rhode Island. Now I need to find my way north to Unsocket. I hope Santa is right and the children will be glad to see me. Postmark is very excited when he is greeted by hundreds of kids upon the arrival, his arrival at the Museum of Work and Culture, Julie explains. This is where you can learn about how many families moved to Unsocket from Quebec to find a better life. Aiden says, yes, that's true. People came here to work in the mills, but sadly, many of the mill workers were kids who worked long hours and were not allowed to go to school. When Postmark visits Slater Mill in Pawtucket, Carlos and Holly explain this mill also employed many children, just like in Woonsocket. Luckily, child labor laws have been passed, so kids are no longer allowed to work in the mills, Carlos explains. This was the first operating mill in the United States and is a historic landmark with a working water wheel. It was built in 1793 and the wheel provided power 
to make thread out of cotton, said Holly. McCoy Stadium is also in Pawtucket and is home to Rhode Island's professional baseball team, the Paw Sox, explains Michael. The Paw Sox played the longest game in baseball history back in 1981, says Kaylee. The game was 33 innings long and lasted over eight hours. Wow, Santa is right, says Postmark. I have already seen so many fun things in Rhode Island and still have more places to go. Plus, I need to find clam cakes and chowder to bring back for him. Welcome to Providence, Rhode Island's state capital and biggest city, says Frankie. The state house has the second largest marble dome in the United States, Maria explains. At nighttime, you can see and hear the crackling bonfires during our water fire festivals, says Frankie. Italian gondolas are paddling up and down the Providence River while music, beautiful music is playing, says Maria. The Roger Williams Park Zoo is one of the oldest zoos in the country, says Kayla. Jaden explains. Yes, there are over a hundred animals here and the zoo has helped protect animals that are endangered species. Along Rhode Island's East Bay, Postmark arrives at the quaint town of Little Compton, which Doris explains is known for Johnny Cakes. Johnny Cakes are just like pancakes, but they're made out of cornmeal, says Doris. Francis comments, yes, we grow the corn on our farm, and it is ground into cornmeal at the grist mill just down the street in Adamsville. In the picturesque town of Bristol, Lisa explains, we have the oldest and longest running 4th of July parade in the United States. We are very lucky because Santa comes here twice each year. In July, he marches in our parade, and in December, he delivers all our Christmas presents. Postmark says, I am amazed there are so many fun things to do here year round, just like Santa said. Tennis, anyone? Annabelle asks. Welcome to Newport, the city by the sea. Here you can see the International Tennis Hall of Fame and our famous mansions. Jacob explains, the mansions were summer homes to many wealthy people from New York back in the 1800s. Postmark sees wonderful beaches in Narragansett. Max explains, in the summer, we love going to the beach and swimming in Narragansett Bay. Alexa adds, the bay is home to many different kinds of fish and birds. There are even lobsters and clams. Oh, so that's why Rhode Island is famous for clam cakes and chowder, like Santa was telling me, says Postmark excitedly. Just below Narragansett Bay is Block Island Sound, where Postmark rides the ferry to Block Island. Mackenzie explains, Block Island is only three miles wide and six miles long, Logan adds. Not many kids live here during the winter, so we are very excited you are visiting the Block Island School. The Frosty Hollow Pond in Exeter is a trout fishing pond at the Arcadia Wildlife Management Area that is just for kids. No grown-ups are allowed, says Nathan. We also like horseback riding and mountain biking, Chelsea explains. Nathan comments, there are also lots of forest animals living here, like deer, squirrels, and cotton, cottontail rabbits too. I finally made it all the way to Westerly, like Santa said. This is so exciting, says Postmark. Emily explains, the flying horse carousel at Watch Hill is the oldest and longest running carousel in the United States. Austin adds, only kids can ride it because the horses are suspended by chains and not attached to the floor. So the faster it spins, the higher the horses fly. Wow, I am so thrilled that I was able to see lots of fun and interesting things here in Rhode Island. There are plenty of good boys and girls here and I am overjoyed that I could collect all these letters for Santa, exclaims Postmark. Postmark stops in Warwick to enjoy clam cakes and chowder before arriving at the airport and flying back to the North Pole. Santa is right. Clam cakes and chowder certainly are delicious. I can see why he wanted me to bring some back for him. When Postmark arrives at Santa's house to deliver the letters and tell him all about the exciting Rhode Island adventure, 
postmark is very surprised. Santa, he exclaims, I brought you clam cakes and chowder just like you asked. How did you get your own? Ho, 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 postmark, I'm Santa. Remember, I see you when you're sleeping and I know when you're awake. I was checking up on you while you were collecting my letters. You did a fantastic job and I'm glad you had a great time visiting the Ocean State. Ho, ho, ho. And that's that. <laughs> yeah, this is what I ordered uh, in the cash restaurant. Capri salad and Miss Karen ordered, what, what is that Miss Karen? A wedge salad. A wedge salad. <laughs> There's another appetizer that we ordered. Spinach and artichoke dip with the nachos chips. Yummy, yummy. <laughs> Thank you so much, Miss Karen. My Rodi Rodi friend, thank you for watching. You take care. God bless. Bye.